Disconnect the vacuum relief valve. Remove the mounting screws and rocker cover. Remove the gasket and breather sleeve. Remove the screws and fuel rail. Following the direction of assembly, screw on the special tool at the top of the pumps. Plug the lubrication hole on the camshaft holder on the flywheel side. Connect the tubes of the balancing tool. The pump's waste must correspond to the tool's waste filter. The pump's waste must correspond to the tool's waste filter. Power the tool with a fully charged 12 volt battery. The pump's waste must correspond to the tool's waste filter. Open the circuits by turning the appropriate taps. Turn on the switch valve to level out fuel inside the graduated burettes. Start the engine at 1500 RPM with no load. Open the tool switch valve while starting a stopwatch. Leave the engine running in this condition for one minute. We can see from the graduated burettes a fuel discrepancy between pumps, that gets bigger as time goes on. This difference between pumps exceeds the tolerance limit of no more than one cubic centimeter between pumps. If adjustment is required, loosen the two hex socket screws that connect the small lever to the control rod through a plate. Moving the plate towards the flywheel increases pump delivery. Shifting it towards the timing gear reduces pump delivery. Reset the level, restart the engine, and repeat the test. Pump delivery is now at an acceptable level, within specification of no more than 1 cubic centimeter between pumps. Close the taps.
Take off the tubes. Remove the special tools. Reconnect the fuel rail. Tighten the screws. Reinstall the breather sleeve. Remove the plug from the lubrication hole. Disconnect the battery from the special tool. Replace the gasket. Reinstall the rocker cover. Tighten the screws. Connect the vacuum relief valve.